What's going on YouTube? This is your boy Second Accord and I just want to do a very quick video showing the official ice cream sandwich update running on the Samsung Galaxy Tab 7.0 Plus. If you want to know how to install this, um, look at my channel, look at my previous videos. I do show how to root and how to install this. This is an official firmware so it is not a leaked build. This is an official. It's been released in Europe and has not been rolled out to the US yet. Um, but, but no further ado. First off, see the difference is when I show you the lock screen the lock screen is now different I do like Samsung's implementation of the lock screen pretty much um, you can press anywhere on the lock screen and you swipe outside of the circle and it'll unlock the screen um, another feature on the lock screen now is that now you can access the notifications on the lock screen and while we're on note, uh, while we're on notifications, uh, notifications are now uh, done slightly different. Uh, they have improved on this as well. Um, everyone knows that the Gossip Tab before knows that you would get notifications and you would only see the first one or maybe two, and you have to s scroll around to see. But now you can see all of your notifications. This bar will be as high or as low as it needs to be, so you can see your notifications. Um, you have some extra toggles up at the top. Um, driving mode, Bluetooth, notification, power saving. You also have screen rotation, uh, vibrate, Wi-Fi, GPS. So this notification bar is great. Um, also, you can either hit the clear button or you can sw individually swipe away notifications now. So you can swipe notifications away and dismiss it for later. It's a very nice feature. Um, so far, I'm going to show you one quick thing. Um, there is Google Music. If you use Google Music, you now have um, on the lock screen, it will have a widget and it will show that you have music playing. You can fast forward, uh, skip tracks right from the lock screen. So that's a very great feature. The TouchWiz um, music player does not show up on the, on the not notification, I mean on the lock screen. So if you're not using Google play music then you might as well start now um, but we're gonna see the launcher the launcher is much improved um, it is not nearly as laggy as the, as the old honeycomb launcher that uh, they had on here um, you will get the occasional stutter every once in a while but it's usually the first time you do something so the first time you unlock the device from a long time the first swipe might be a little laggy but after you swipe the second third time it's fine as you can see it has um, infinite scrolling so you can continue to scroll in one in one way um, you can reorder your home screens you can have as many home screens as you want you can have up to seven you can reorder them as well so you want to change the order you can also do uh, that uh, you can delete home screen so if you have a home screen that you, that you don't need hit delete and it's gone um, touch whiz, uh, most of the touch whiz widgets have been drastically improved um, s some of them are, 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 are the same you know your AP weather your digital clock one your weather ones they're all pretty uh, much much the same but uh, this one like your calendar widget um, this is in your entire calendar so um, this is my entire calendar for the mother month and you can see everything is on there so that's a great great widget um, you also have your task and your S planner widget so that's, those are amazing as well your social hub this is a widget that can be resized um, not all touch widgets can be resized but this one can so um, one thing to note the grid size has been decreased so anyone everybody knows remember you can have these four widgets and have two rows of uh, icons below you can only have one row now so the grid size is a little bit smaller but the advantage is you can um, have his up to seven home screens also folders are done a little bit different um, different Im implementation it's uh, different from ice cream sandwich so if you want to make a folder you need to hold the icon you can scroll up and you have app info create page or create folder you can create a folder by dragging it here puts in a folder now anything that you drop 
and drag can drop be uh, dropped in there. So it's a little bit different, but it is a. Uh, I mean, it's easy, easy enough. With Ice Cream Sandwich, you're going to get uh, the updated uh, Google applications. I'm not going to really go over those too much, but uh, you see the ice cream versions of the uh, the apps, so those are all great. Um, there's some really subtle and really great animations throughout this Ice Cream Sandwich update. The Ice Cream Sandwich update has improved things drastically. The entire OS is so much snappier. Um, those little lags are gone. Um, you can hit this. See that? Nice transition. Going, swiping between your screens is great. Um, it's infinite scrolling in the app drawer. So you can go through and the way to get to the widgets is hit the widgets tab. And it loads up your widgets. See the first time you swipe your widgets over, it's a little bit of a lag, but now it's fine. So there is a slight lags here and there, but it's not really too bad because it only happens once. But you have all your widgets here. Just like ice cream sandwich, you want to drop a widget, you grab it, hold it, and you pick a home screen, and you can drop it. And that's actually the YouTube one. That one usually takes a little, little while to load up, but they, but there you go. So that's great. A um, couple of apps have changed, so I'm going to show you. Um, the, they've just um, none of the apps really have too much added functionality. They've just changed the way they look to coincide with Ice Cream Sandwich just a little bit more. Um, the alarm one looks pretty similar to what it to what it was. Added a new alarm. Just different animation, slight slightly different look, but nothing too drastically different. Um, there is no longer the calendar is no longer called calendar; it's called S Planner. We'll get to that. The calculator. It's pretty standard. It's pretty much the same. Um, your email application is pretty similar, so you're not going to get anything drastically different there. Um, you still have your ebook application in there. Um, your stuff all share. Let me see. Um, internet browser is a lot better. Um, so we just click on a, a link. Uh, the, the email browser is is faster. It's a lot faster than what what it, what it was before. It's a lot smoother. The scrolling is a little bit different throughout this entire OS Ice Cream Sandwich. Um, it, you kind of know before you would like swipe fast and it would kind of slow down. Um, the kinetic scrolling is a little bit, um, I don't know. You scroll and it kind of keeps rolling for a sec. So the inertia keeps it keeps it going. So the oh, so it's very smooth. Pinch to zoom, everything works the way it should. Double tap. Um, you can, as you can see, the font throughout the entire uh, OS is uh, much improved. That's the Roboto font. Everything is clear. You can read smaller text now because of the font. But it's, it's great. Web browser is great. Um, you also have other features. Um, you can do an incognito tab. Um, you can go to settings. You can uh, request desktop view. You can invert the browser if you if you want to. So this is a whole whole bunch of things that are really great. So this is pretty much the stock ice cream sandwich browser uh, with some touch whiz tweaks over top of it. You can use Chrome browser now. Uh, Chrome works so far. Uh, it's kind of, kind of a little bug. You can't adjust your settings in Chrome. But uh, hopefully that'll get fixed. Hopefully that's just a Google part and they'll update it instead of a Samsung thing. Um, also, let me see. <clears throat> You have a couple of different hubs now. You have a music hub. I'm not going to go through it. Have, I don't have an account, but you can buy music from the music hub. You also have a reader's hub and a, a reader's hub here. And you can buy books to go into their application and their e reader application. Um, pretty much most of the apps are, I'd say, pretty similar. It's your, it's your S Planner, which is pretty much your stock calendar, which I've always liked the TouchWiz calendar. I always thought the TouchWiz did a really good job on the camera, so the camera really hasn't changed. Um, 
the gallery it does look a little bit different now where is the gallery gallery application it looks just like the stock um, ice cream sandwich gallery just with a different icon up at the top so that's the only thing that's, that's changed there um, video player again looks a little bit different but it's not anything drastically different um, I have noticed that Samsung has darkened up a lot of the areas of the OS it makes it just look a lot cleaner instead of that blaring white cartoonish look it uh, looks a little bit more sophisticated but nothing too drastic um, now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna uh, jump into some settings so we're gonna look at the settings menu and how that works settings menu so your settings and ice cream sandwich are now in a different order but uh, pretty much you have most of the same settings but uh, you do have some extra options right now you can adjust the volume and the volume intensity the vibration intensity so it's a little, little bit different um, display options um, pretty much the same as what you would get before one big thing is the quick launch uh, before you can only change what the quick launch does now you can get rid of it so I do not have that that fourth annoying little button down there you can get rid of it doing in your in your quick launch um, you can set your font style now you can calibrate your accelerometer which is great because I had issues playing certain games because my tab was off on calibration but now that's been added it's great you have different power saving modes of uh, still still the same you have your storage your storage is different it's set up different now it shows everything that's on your card now so this is a great feature for my ice cream sandwich um, you also have your battery uh, battery life is great I haven't had any issues with the, the battery at all it seemed to last exactly the same um, you can manage your applications so pretty much most of this is exactly the same uh, you do have some a different options down here in USB developing uh, you can show your touches if you want to you can uh, force GPU rendering which I recommend you do not turn on if you force GPU rendering um, some apps will not work some apps will just crash so but it is great for some apps that are kind of jerky um, you force it and it will force everything to run for the GPU but again some apps it will force close it and just to see what you guys see where I'm at Android 4.0 the hidden Easter egg is still there so tap it and tap the ice cream sandwich guy so that's pretty cool and I know there's something else I wanted to show you guys oh uh, the keyboard unfortunately um, it doesn't come with the ice cream sandwich keyboard you're gonna have to download that all that comes with is Samsung and swipe or sorry all it could, yeah Samsung and swipe and that's all it comes with and so you can download the ice cream sandwich keyboard on the Android market for free but uh, we have the Samsung keyboard which if we look, look at it it's terrible it's this this is it's the same though and the multitasking menu is slightly changed is a lot faster when you watch how fast this pops up press it it pops up pops up almost immediately you can go through all of your tasks that you've been been doing and then now you can swipe them away so it's so close them out so look so there we go That's actually really, really cool. You can also access your task manager right from here. It's a, and then you can go to your task manager. Task manager is functionally the same. It's just they have a dark skin over it. So that's really uh, cool looking. And also one other uh, update that they have done is your quick launch, uh, your applications down here, your uh, overlays or change they are much improved you have a couple extra ones down there you can swipe left and right and you do have access to more so now you have access to your alarm your calculator your email your Samsung music player your pin memo your S planner your task manager and your clock 
Word clock, again, pretty much the same. Just looks slightly different. Um, in any one of these apps, if you press the button, you'll go into it. See the world clock. It's pretty, pretty similar to what uh, is, you see. It's just dark now. It's alarm, and you can have more than one up at the same time. So that's really cool. So you can have. Uh, so you can be. Setting in sudden alarm, use your calculator, listen to music all, all at the same same time. But that's pretty much it. Uh, there's probably some things that I'm, I haven't gone through, but uh, you guys will get the update. Uh, Samsung says that uh, this tab will be updated um, over the air by August, sometime in August. If you want to get it now, um, you can get the firmware. Uh, just click on. Uh, sorry, if you go to my channel, go ahead. Um, I do show how to root this tablet, and I do show you how to get the up, uh, get the firmware. It's literally just an Odin file. So if you wanted to just get it, put uh, down, put your computer down on Odin, you can get it. So this is second and cool. If you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave in the comment section. I do answer all questions and respond to pretty much all comments. Um, you can also follow me at, on Twitter at Second Accord. If you like my channel, like my videos, you know, like what you see, go ahead and uh, subscribe. It's the Second Accord. I'm out.